What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be continuing this journey on Halo the series episode 3. Now you guys should already know my thoughts on this but there's some things about this I really do enjoy and there's things about this I do not enjoy but overall this episode was eh okay because in the entirety of this episode we see where Master Chief he finally gets out of his I would say cell confinement and he make and Dr. Halsey makes a deal with him saying if you combine yourself with a AI then you can return to battle. Obviously we see the younger clone of Dr. Halsey and they have this conversation about, you know, would you ever consider this, you know, when you were younger? And you fought we finally get to see Jen Taylor finally reprised her role as Cortana. Now, I will say Cortana looks all right, but from the this first episode, she looks. I thought the CGI would be a little bit better. Out of my opinion, I would think that the CGI would be a lot more. I would I would assume better upgraded than what we initially got. And the first between John and Cortana are not is not that good. He doesn't want nothing to do with her. He, as his words, he does not want a babysitter. And when this happens, Halsey's like, you got to do this. And while this is going on, we see the transfer from the younger Halsey to Cortana. And Halsey's very impressed with Cortana. But at the same time, she's also showing her... Halsey has her own motives. And she's afraid of John, what he's going to remember. And John starts remembering his own planet. And later in the episode of how he's connected to these artifacts... That they are trying to locate and one of them apparently may be on his home planet where he was abducted by Dr. Halsey at some point. And also we get to see where his team later meets Cortana as well. And Cortana even helps John undo, I would say, his chip on his back where he can experience uh, emotions and everything that he was not able to experience. Now, there's a lot of things I think that was unnecessary. Having Master Chief be out of his suit for so long and the actor that plays him he even shows, I guess, he's fully naked and he's having to use a uh, knife to be able to get that out, which Cortana's having to direct him with. Which, again, this is really showing a lot of craziness within the show. And we also can see where it's confirmed that Dr. Halsey is the mother to Miranda Keys. Which is total BS. I, I don't remember seeing, again, any proof that she ever had a daughter and that her and Jacob Keys was in a relationship. So, again, them doing this, I think, was really stupid. And then giving into, I would say, crap that makes no sense for the Halo universe, which they need to work on. And also the fact of we all know that Halsey took kids, you know, for her Spartan program. And it's going to come to light more than likely in this series. I think that's going to happen. Then we also see Kwan Yan. She's trying to go back to her home planet. But uh, the one that John left her with, he's not letting her go on her own. And if so, she's going to pay him a lot of money. So he even tells her if, okay, you know, you can go, but I'm going to go with you. And either way, I'm going to get your you know money from you, either from you or the bounty on your head. So it really doesn't matter whether he helps her or not, either way he's going to get money or he's going to get paid. So <clears throat> he is acting like a mercenary. And we also see the woman that is working with the prophets as well as also that was, she was pretty much like John. She, I would say is a, uh, oh man, what, what's the word? Um, uh, reclaimer, I guess you'd say. And don't, don't know exactly if she's going to, if they're going to be called a reclaimer in this i'm not entirely sure but apparently the elites took her when she was very young and she despises humanity because of how hatred that they are because she had a crush on this boy the boy was killed she would have been tortured slash uh beaten up if the elites didn't show up and they actually rescued her in a way so it was interesting seeing that backstory from her and then also seeing how master chief is dealing with his new emotions because he does not know how to deal with emotions we see him go through a whole bunch of like a subway and i would say a play with uh, violins and experiencing everything for the first time like he's a newborn because he's had this chip in him to i guess control his emotions and not have him 
rethink himself when he is in the battlefield. And one of the Spartans, she did see him take it out, and he even told Halsey this, which Halsey is sort of like, why did you do that? But she's also understanding the reason why he did that. But she is going to want control over John. She's Here's the thing with Halsey. Halsey has always wanted control over Spartan 117, a.k.a. you know the Master Chief. She always has. He's always been the favorite, Dr. Halsey. And there's so much in the books and the games that we either have seen or not seen that they may touch up on in this show. I don't know. But I will say hearing Gentile's voice as Cortana was absolutely amazing. I just wish that they would put more love and more story into the story. It just doesn't, it just feels like that a non-fan, which again was a non-fan that made this, and they're trying to make it Halo, but it's just not Halo. And again, I love Halo. Halo is one of my favorite game franchises of all time. But again, this series, it has its ups and downs. And with something like this, I don't know if it's going to be able to get better or if it's going to slowly improve and slowly decline like, like a teeter-totter because I don't see it getting any better other than worse. I mean, there's times when it's like, oh man, this is cool or this is cool. Uh, you know, they... They're wanting to have their heart in the right place, so to speak, I would say, but they just don't know exactly what the hell they're doing. I mean, I, I literally would not trust somebody with my product with 343. If 343 actually green like this the, and they didn't have them, you know, oh, hey, this is what we're going to do. It just doesn't make sense. I just, I, it, it don't make sense at all, but... Overall, what you guys think about this episode? Did you guys enjoy it? Was it better than the last episode? Is it getting worse? Is it getting better? What are your thoughts? Uh, what do you think that needs to happen in Halo to make it better? What do you think needs to happen less in Halo to make it better? What are your thoughts? What are your comments? I'd personally like to know down in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying your day. Also, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hopefully, a lot of it helps out the channel. This like boosts out the uh, video. That way, you can get out to more Halo followers, Halo fans, such as you know myself or anybody else that cares to listen. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you guys on the next one.